everybody. It's Brother Kevin and <gasps> special guest, Mr. Who am I? Andrew B. Blalock. Yes, Blalock. Blalock from the B&B show, but you just know him as Brother Andy, Pastor Andy. Yes. He's here to help me today with my junior church lesson. He loves me very much, and I love him. He's a good guy. And we've grown up together, <laughs> known each other for 27 years. That Too wasn't many. weird at all. Too many. Um, <laughs> And um, I hope you're doing well today. Today's Junior yes. Church lesson, we're going to be in Ephesians yes. chapter 2, and we're going to look up a couple verses, and we're going to answer one of the age-old questions, what do I do to get rid of my sin? Ooh, the and greatest question. That's, what, yeah, that's a very important question. The world has lots of answers to that question yes. on what do I do with the things that uh, don't please God? And of course, sin is anything that I say, anything that I do. <laughs> Anything that I think that displeases God, he's going to make me laugh. I'm thinking right now. Um, uh, but what do we do with our sin? And there's a lot of answers for that, but I'm going to give you the Bible answer. And we're going to look at Ephesians chapter 2, verse number 8. The Bible says, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Here's an answer. You can't do good things to get rid of your sin. All right, so here I have this cup. It means sin. Sin. Again, anything that I say, think, or do that displeases God. The Bible says we're all sinners. All of us are. Some people think, Brother Andy, mm. you've got this cup that's titled church. Church. Is this enough? Is church enough? I don't know. Let's see. Is it going to get rid of your sin? You know what? Is the, is the water still there? Pour, still in there. Let's see. Let's pour see. it back. All of it. All of it. So, you know what? Church. Did nothing is not going to get rid of your sin. So we're going to get rid of that. Some people say if I go to church, it's going to get rid of my sin. Some people say if I do good works. Ooh. Good works. Can good my works. My good works is being on this show. Uh, yeah, Andy's doing well by, you know, doing good works. Now, what are some good works that people might do, you know? Be nice to your siblings. Oh, there's a good one. Obey your parents. Be nice to me, Brother Andy. Uh, I don't know about that. Sin. Oh, and not cheating in schoolwork? Not cheating in schoolwork. Uh, did you ever do that? No, I just <laughs> lied about doing it. Did you do your homework today? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, good works. Does that get rid of our sin? It should. Let's hope so. Oh. oh. No. Some people, well, if the good outweighs the bad? No. No, that doesn't do it. All right, here we go. Some people say <laughs> that praying... Ah, we'll get rid of your sin. All right. Praying is good. And um, but praying is not good enough. Does no, that get not. rid of your sin? I don't think so. What should we do with that cup? Now there's even hair in it. Oh, that's gross. Yeah. <laughs> so that's a no. <laughs> so we come to the Lord Jesus. That's mm. what the cup says here. Can Jesus get rid of your sin? Well, what do you think, Brother Andy? Yes, he can. I don't know how this is going to work, but yeah. But the Bible talks about something amazing, how God yeah. loves you. And yes. we talked about this a few weeks ago, the gospel hand. Yeah. God loves you. All men are sinners. Mm -hmm. Sin must be paid for. Jesus died to pay for your sin, and you yeah. must put your faith and trust in Christ and accept him as your Savior. Amen. And so, for by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. So... Can Jesus take away my sin? What do you think, Andy? You, you think? can, but I, I don't know how this is. You don't know how this I'm is scared. going. You don't know how this is going to work. I don't know how it's going to work either. I don't know. Uh, do you think it's going to get rid of it? I think so, because Jesus. His Bible says that He wipes it all from all sin, not the sin you did or the sin you just did today. But all your sin. Well, ladies and gentlemen, and future. you saw me pour the water. We're not editing this in yeah, any way. No. Yeah, see, we're all doing so. All right, so here we go. Amazing. Gone, 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 gone. Yes, my sins are gone. Now my soul is free and in my heart's a song. Kids, okay, here's what we get. want to get to. Salvation and forgiveness of sin is as easy as asking Christ and believing what the Bible says about Jesus. Yes. Uh, that's all it is. Yeah, he didn't come to this earth just to be a story. That's right. Or die on the cross because he showed he loved us. That sin had to be paid for. And Jesus paid for that sin. So you can put your faith and trust in Christ and be saved today. If you have any questions about it, please come see me, email mm -hmm. me at kevin at beaconbaptistchurch.org or just come see me at church. And... 
Here is your junior church task. Ooh, you challenge. You need to, for the, the next prize, or if you want to know the secret of how I did this. Oh, ooh. Ooh. For the next prize, um, you need to memorize our verses that we just read. Oh. Second, or second, second Ephesians. <laughs> that works. Ephesians <laughs> chapter 2, verse 8 and 9. If you memorize those verses and say them to me at church, um, you will know the secret to what I did here today. Ooh. And I will give you a prize out of the box. Again, that's Ephesians 2, verses 8 and 9. Have them memorized. And many of you have done so well at this. I'm so yeah. encouraged. Keep up the good work. We'll talk to you later. Have a good week. God bless.